Okay, here's a little bit of a rundown on how I do uh, this black diesel process. Um, any used motor oil that comes in these containers, I just throw them into the top, either probably a gallon or two at a time, sometimes three. I just put it all up in there. Sometimes I mix it with a little bit of diesel, but right now it's just running pure, straight, raw motor oil through the centrifuge. And what that's doing is it's going through this line here. Don't mind the leaking, it's fine. I'm just catching some of it. But it's going into this line here. But I don't really don't need that, but I put it there anyway. It's going into this filter, which leaks like hell because it's broken, but it still works. So I reused it. It's going out into that little filter, which I, I guess the more filters the better. And then I ran it into this line over here. And those all those filters over there are only for catching the heavier stuff that the centrifuge would otherwise probably fling out or uh, would fill up to. I guess it would fill up faster. So putting those two filters in line with this kind of helps the centrifuge just filter out the smaller stuff. So basically what we got going on here is that this line goes in Still a work in progress. Um, I'm running all this on a, I think it's a 480 watt power supply, and it's 24 volt variable voltage, so I could bring it down if I wanted to. But right now I'm running uh, 24 volts, and that's going into a pulse width modulator controller, which I can control the speed of the centrifuge to either get higher G forces or lower g-forces which right now 42 seems to be okay because I got a, got a slight vibration issue if I go past 42 it starts to go crazy and shit will start vibrating like crazy so I keep it right below there because the rotor that I made isn't perfect uh, it's kind of like this one right here so you can kind of see like the lip I was talking about on the inside it's all concaved and the oil gets flung out to the, uh, the side walls here. Just a little bit of oil in there. This prototype number like four. I don't know how ever many prototypes I'm on now. But now the oil is going into there and then it eventually blows down. it let the hot glue kind of get into the cracks and crevices and sealed it all up via hot glue and now I'm on um gallon number three and a half because four quarts equals a gallon roughly and I think these hold about like 1.2 gallons usually fill them up to about here anyway so it's about time to get this one over to this one which has been cleaned out enough as best as I could put a little bit of uh, diesel in there for detergent to kind of catch any small particulates and I ran that back up into there so that's the process oil goes in runs through those filters comes into this this filters out the fines and then it goes into clean jars and so far I've gotten yeah about almost three and a half gallons I would have to say so far uh, I have been looking at it underneath the microscope. Uh, it's really hard with this microscope to notice any differences, but what I did notice is that there is a lot of uh, black chunky things in the unfiltered oil where this, the filtered centrifuge oil right here at the top, that has a lot less particulates. So it's not getting it down 100%. I'm not trying to get it to 100%. I'm just trying to get it good enough to where it'll run in an engine and or a diesel heater so 
if, if you want to know more, this is my process and I can teach you step by step how to do it. Uh, comment, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. If you like the video, like it. If you don't, you don't. Uh, I'll keep you updated with more shit.